I remember when I was first assigned to the Galileo mission, how excited I was. I had previously been assigned a DOD mission prior to Challenger accident, and I knew that the DOD mission was going to be fine, but it wasn't something you could talk about. And Galileo was an international space interplanetary probe, and being part of that I knew it was going to be really a lot of fun. It had a long, tortuous path to finally get launched on Atlantis and including different types of rockets and different kinds of setups. But it was such a unique uh, plan. The, actually, when we let go of the thing, we sent it into Venus because it went past Venus and got a gravity assist. And then it came back by the Earth with a gravity assist. It did that twice more, and it was called Vega. That was the path that it was going to take. Venus, Earth, Earth, gravity assist. Galileo was named Galileo because Galileo had actually discovered the, the four big moons around Jupiter. And so it was appropriate that when they built an interplanetary probe to go to that system that they name it Galileo. The scientists and the engineers that built it and planned it were really looking forward to what it was going to produce. There was so much that we could see the Jovian moon system, moon system but there was so little that we knew about it because Voyager had flown by, but nobody had gone out there and stayed. No spacecraft had gone out there and gone into orbit. And the plan for Galileo was to spend a lot of time on orbit, various elliptical orbits, focusing on one moon or the other. Well, they discovered magnetic fields, it discovered water, temperature zones. It just gave the, particularly the astronomers and the scientists, an incredible understanding of that system. Now Jupiter itself is just a giant gas ball, so there's no similarity between Jupiter and Earth. On the other hand, the moons have got size that's similar, uh, maybe had atmosphere at some time in the past, they have a magnetic field, there's water there. Uh, a number of things that in the long-term uh, vision of mankind exploring further and further into space, the amount of knowledge gained by Galileo is, is immeasurable in terms of those kind of plans. But Galileo turned out to be one of the most productive missions ever on a planetary probe. Discovered water, discovered magnetic fields, they rewrote the books on the Jovian moon system. It was just a great mission to be a part of.